Hello everypony on YouTube. It's time for another reaction. And this time we have My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Season 7, Episode 14, Fame and Misfortune. Now the thumbnail I have of this uh, episode has com two completely new ponies that I've never seen before. We're, so that, that bodes well, but I have no real idea of what this episode's about. I can guess... And there were some thumbnail spoilers and such on YouTube. Supposedly maybe a song. I have no real idea. But, whew, it's got a lot to stand up to with the last episode. Let me just say that real quick. Because, oh, I, I, I can't deny it anymore. The Perfect Pair topped my episode list. I didn't think anything could ever top Crusaders of the Lost Mark, but that one did. Just because the emotion was so raw and feels so real I just I've watched it like eight more times in various other reactions videos to see other people's reactions to it I'm just my initial reaction didn't get me crying a lot but every single rewatch I just consistently cried because it was just so good so beautiful that that is what I like to see from this show this is that is just spot on. The writers knew what they were doing. Joanna and Christine are definitely becoming my top favorite writers, period, as of recent for the show. Um, and just, it's so, so good. And, and it always hits me because I think, I think it has something to do with, like, connecting with that, that, uh, that want for romance, that good like AJ's parents had that that was amazing and pear butter is just downright adorable <laughs> can't resist it if I ever did the waifu thing she'd be competition for Twilight but seriously <laughs> and um, the fact that just grand pear had all that remorse and such that you didn't even get to say anything else potentially anything else to his daughter before she went passed on it's just like wow that and uh perhaps with my grandma recently passing away that kind of also resonated but anyway <clears throat> enough of the heavy stuff we've got fame and misfortune huh uh the only thing i can think of potentially happening i mean with misfortune obviously something bad is going to happen i that's kind of a given but fame and misfortune so the only way I can think of someone being famous and something bad happening is if they went the wrong direction with their friendships or relationships and messed everything up. Or maybe they got so full of themselves that they rejected everyone. I don't know. It could be... It could be an episode about Rainbow Dash, maybe, with the Wonderbolts. But she kind of had that heavy lesson last season with when she finally did become a Wonderbolt. So it would make more sense for this... Maybe, maybe Rarity with all her boutiques? I mean, maybe she's make it, made it so big that, I, I mean, she's got three at this point, and she's known practically all over Equestria. Or maybe, maybe Twilight? But no, she's too nice for that sort of thing. I honestly have no idea. So, without further ado, let's just start the episode, shall we? Three, two, one... Or maybe, maybe I should do some different numbers for once. I'm stalling. I'm stalling. Let's just do six, four, two. Go. Ah, Twilight. Good start. I like Twilight. Oh, there's the same pony it's from uh, Discord and Harmony. Oh, who's that? that was meant for her. Oh, yep. Two new little fillies. <laughs> Looks like they're out of the middle of a feud. <laughs> <laughs> Trula, Coconut cream, what are you doing? That Coconut was cream, my Trula ex Rula. Friend. Hmm. I'm not Ooh. your ex friend, you're my ex friend. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, friendship isn't always easy, but there's no doubt it's worth fighting. <laughs> Get up, <for>. Twilight. <laughs> Hmm, that sounds familiar. 
No kidding, Twilight. You've probably taught that lesson like a dozen times. Yeah, your journal, of course. Here it is. What is that? Come on, Starlight. Don't judge a book by its cover. This is the friendship journal my friends and I used to keep. It's filled with all the things we've learned, like friendship isn't always easy, but there's no doubt it's worth fighting for. Whoops, kind of falling apart oh, there, Twilight. You might want to take cover her. just this once. Careful. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Twilight. My little hmm. pony, my little well, those are two strangely disconnected scenes. I mean, they were slightly connected, but I mean, I have no idea what direction this episode's going. Poor Twilight. I I'd suggest uh, digital technology. As long as you don't get any corrupted stuff, it tends to last a little longer. Hint, hint. M maybe you guys can work on some sort of, I don't know, computer system? At any rate, those two new little fillies, that was different. Thanks for coming, every pony. Well, that was interesting. I've they were talking and nothing was coming out. Oh, okay, the story editors were my favorite writers. Myself. It's this! Uh, what is that thing? Why is it so <laughs> Rarity! Oh, Come on! Is this our old friendship journal? I haven't seen this thing in forever! Ooh, no kidding. Wait. It's looking a little, uh, overripe. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. There's a smudged apple in Applejack's lessons. <laughs> Fluttershy's lessons are so small, you can barely read them. I uh, want to leave room for all of you. Fluttershy. <laughs> I, I don't even know what this is. It is called calligraphy, darling. Calligraphy. <laughs> Looks like you got a little aggressive with your friendship lessons, Rainbow Dash. What no kidding. Say? When I learn something, I learn it hard. <laughs> That's very true. Pinkie Pie! Pinkie Pie. <laughs> that wasn't the only surprise. Oh, Starlet's got a restoration spell of some sort, probably. Oh? What is this kind of magic? Duplication spell? Ah. Starlight and I decided to make one for each of you. That's amazing. A perfect copy. I learned the spell years ago when I needed to make copies of a certain... Um... Manifesto. Yeah. <laughs> That's a perfect copy. Oh, I'd forgotten all about this lesson. Wow. <laughs> Remember this one? For when I helped Daring do... Never underestimate the power of friends who always got your back. Aw, cheese sandwich! Party cannon! Oh, birth anniversary! After Twilight remembered the journal, uh, I had so, so many memories the stuff you've all learned, I just had mm. to have my own copy. And that brings me to the second part of the surprise, my idea. How would you girls feel about making our journal available for every pony? If we can get these lessons into other ponies' hooves, maybe they'll mm. benefit from them. I think that's, a good that's a nice idea. innocent idea. Question is whether we, we others will take it the right way. Or if they get too <laughs> over the top about it. I'm awesome. <laughs> Dash. Well, we know that. Ooh, I like this jazzy music. Ooh, who's this? Publisher Pony? So, Twilight being a princess can just go directly to the stores and give it the, to them to sell? Instead of publishing it? I mean... I call hacks! Publishing is not that easy! <sighs> Seriously, I'm still trying to get my books published. Oh wow, it's going all over Equestria. It's going viral. It's like YouTube for Equestria. <laughs> no, I don't want to play with you anymore. Why not? You love oh, playing Oh, they're with having them. another fight. No. Girls, well... couldn't help but over here. You might want to take a breather. Maybe read Rainbow Dash's chapter on Rainbow Falls. It might help. Sure, princess. Thanks, uh -huh. Twilight. The Friendship Journal's making us super popular. Wow. Oh, 
We were thinking oh. of putting together a huge uh. summer camp. Now every pony's definitely gonna sign up for it. This is gonna be awesome. <laughs> a summer camp. Summer camp is hmm. a great idea. Yeah, but the purpose of the journal isn't supposed to be marketing. Yeah, Twilight, you are a princess. You should have figured that out. Well, I'm sure all across Equestria will go up. Uh, yeah, until you get mobbed for autographs. <laughs> Can I help you? We're here all the way from Philadelphia because we got copies wow. of the Friendship Journal. Wow, how wonderful. What was your favorite Friendship Journal? Will you sign them? Oh, uh, I guess so. So, I what see. did you think of the lessons? Oh, we haven't read them. These are keepsakes. We gotta keep them in mint condition. <laughs> Yeah, Twilight, that's kind of what happens wow, when you become a celebrity. A <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Starlight gets it too. I'm sure lots of other so this is a Twilight Starlight episode. I like this. Well, I don't think we've had one in a while. <gasps> I agree. I'm seeing sides of these ponies I didn't know were there. I only wish they'd let the rarity out. She clearly doesn't belong in that book with the rest of them. Oh, I know. Who does she think she is? Certainly she did a fine job setting up the Ponyville Days celebration, Ooh. but does she really believe it was a success just because of her? <laughs> the nerve! <laughs> but that's not what she was saying! Rarity! Yeah, that's another thing. When you get popular and when something gets popular, people will misconstrue it all sorts of twisted ways. Sometimes for the sake of doing so. Were saying. She must be devastated. I'm going after her. Go ahead. Good idea. I'm gonna have a chat with these two. Uh... Rarity, wait! Twilight! Pinky! Our journals are everywhere! Pinky, I've got to keep Not a good time, Pinky! <laughs> of course, Pinkies are hilarious. Wow. <laughs> well, that makes sense. It's Lost Pegasus. <laughs> hey, look! There's Pinkie Pie, the funny one. Well, at least you're getting a positive reaction. True. Rarity, and I'm afraid this whole journal thing really upset her. Huh? That's too bad. <laughs> Okay, now they're just laughing for the sake of it. <laughs> uh, Pinky, you might want to be careful. They're gonna laugh at everything you do. <laughs> now Pinky's getting creeped out a bit too. she's even funnier in real life. You know me for years. You know me for years. <laughs> Good point. Oh, Rose. Uh oh. What happened, Dash? Because they were getting in the way of the good ones. What do you mean you skipped the lessons? We've all had valuable experiences. Hey, yeah. that's a great idea. Why don't you guys talk to Twilight for a while so I can get back to things like working and napping and everything <laughs> else? Oh, we don't yeah. want to hear her boring lessons. Come on, tell us again about Ooh, when you met Dewey Dew. Ouch. <laughs> again? Haven't we already covered that one a couple dozen times? Oh, oh sorry, oh, Dash. Oh, wow. Dash. I I never thought Rainbow would get tired of it's this. That I, uh, That's funny. I really need to get those storm clouds back in their pens. Oh, cool. No kidding. We'll come along. You can tell us the story there. <laughs> Just like in real life. Well, in, in terms of everyone's favorite being Rainbow Dash. This, this, this is good. I, I'm liking this, but it's kind of crazy. Oh, the paparazzi. Or, well, anybody else. We want answers! Yeah, we're entitled to know! What is it, every pony? We want to know why Fluttershy keeps learning the same thing over and over again. Be assertive already! Ooh! I've more Ouch! Than she has. What should I be in the book? What? Really? Are you attacking my friend because you want to be in a book? It's okay. I got this, girls. 
Listen up! I am more suited. And yes, it took me a while to get there. But can you honestly say that you could learn something one time and completely change who you are? Exactly! I not think so. Good one, Fluttershy. You're way different from the Fluttershy in the book. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> this is the Phantom and commentaries and analysis in the re in, in a nutshell. It's crazy. It's great and clever. Uh, yeah, they're they're all misconstruing it. What are you doing? Whoa! For what? I don't know. I'm stress sewing. Stress sewing. <laughs> <laughs> to the cafe, I suddenly understood why I've been getting cancellations for days. What? Why cancellations? Are their orders? Because no pony likes me anymore. They're boycotting me. <laughs> oh, you've even got petitioners. Ponies, they'll see that they're being unreasonable. <laughs> I need a hundred blankets, and I need them now. Oh no! Are they all trying to steal your apples? He's still going crazy. I'm popular and I don't like it one bit. Aww, poor AJ. You go ahead. I'll stay here. Oh my. They're all taping Kitty Marks of Apples just so they can join them and help them? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Good grief! Applejack? Who are all these ponies? They call themselves the Sweet Apple Admirers. They say they read my documentaries <laughs> and they felt like a part of the family. And now they actually want to become part of the family. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Your journal entries? Yeah, you know, all the stuff about how friends are like family and whatnot. Can't you get rid of them? They kick out my own family? Granny Smith, hang on! Let me help! Oh, gosh. There she is! <laughs> you know, I wonder how Grandpa would feel about all this. <laughs> Oh my word. No kidding. <laughs> Maybe I could call in Discord to rein things in. I'm sure a little chaos would cause everyone to I think she's doing better and snap out of it. Oh boy. Window staring, huh? Was it that bad at Sweet Apple Acres? It's bad everywhere. Mm -hmm. I thought I was doing something good. I thought I was helping. How could our friendship journal have led to so much anti friendship? Oh, no kidding. It's not your fault. Of course it's my fault. If I hadn't had that big idea to make copies, none of this would be happening. I'm afraid I made life awful for my friends. I really think you're being too hard on yourself. Am I? Hmm. Well, now who could that be? <laughs> Raven Ash is trying to wear sunglasses at everyone's I loving Twilight. Go. I've got so much cooking and cleaning and family to do. I ain't got time for anything else. No kidding. Those police aren't laughing every time you talk. Not even I want to be funny all the time. I'm telling <laughs> you, my days of hilariousness are over. Hilariousness. You've got problems. I know I'm awesome, but I can't even go to the bathroom without some pony trying to tell me how cool I am. <laughs> what are you wearing? My emotions, darling. Stress couture. <laughs> if I have to defend myself one more time. Oh, oh sorry, darling. Force of habit. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>, well, <so laughs> they are having a hard time with it. Bring that in Discord. He wrong. might help. Yes, I did. Releasing the journal was my idea. And it backfired in ways I could never have imagined. It's not your Good fault. Point. It's every pony else's. They're just focusing on the wrong things. And <gasps> wait here, I've got an idea. That's true too. I can't wait any longer. Hey, I Starlight's getting good at teleporting. Haha. -ha. I mean, she was great at it before, but now she's really got perfect. Every pony, please stop. 
Princess Twilight? I was the Canterlot Chronicle. Quick question. What would you say to ponies who wonder why you moved to Ponyville in the first place? I moved here to learn about friendship. That's why the journal even exists. It took some time for me to get the hang of it. <laughs> okay, it Rarity and Applejack look a little more cleaned up for Rarity now. taught me the lessons in those journals. Applejack, Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash, Rarity, and Fluttershy too. Mm -hmm. Then it was all of you. I've learned so much from... What I mean is, some ponies would argue that it doesn't seem believable that the six of you would be friends. Believable? Well, sure. I read this journal cover to cover, and I have to say, your character would have been much more interesting if she'd stayed in Candela. <laughs> oh! We are real ponies. This journal is a record of things that actually happened to us. We made mistakes, and wow. we learned from them. What about Rarity? Are we really supposed to believe she learned anything she wrote in there? That's why you want to be Team Dash! She's the only one who didn't really need to learn anything because she was already <coughs> so cool. Oh. Twilight was better before she got wings. Fluttershy is just so painfully shy, it's hard to relate. I mean, come on! This is like some of the fandom <laughs> arguing <laughs> in each, at each other. This is funny. <laughs> Good point. Listen to me. Nice voice amplification. I never claim to be perfect. My mistakes are all random song out of nowhere. Whoa. Let's claim to be perfect and it's sad if that's what you all think. Our flaws help to make us special. They bond us and keep us strong. Our flaws are what brought us together. So stop acting like something's wrong. We are not flawless. We're a work in progress. We got dents and we got quirks, but it's our flaws wow. that make us work. Yeah, <laughs> we're not flawless. Okay, we're I'll buy it. It's a pretty good song. <laughs> no kidding. Comes off as cocky, but it gives me the courage to fail. Sure, I yeah. can be a drama queen. Good I point. Stuck up, it's true. And I can be too eager to please. There's such thing as being too honest, too, cause we're not flawless. We're a work in progress. We got <laughs> so now they're stressed singing. This is a great summary of, like, all the past seasons. These are pretty impressive rhymes for this song. Now the question is, how will they react? <laughs> so you see, every pony, none of us ever claimed to be perfect. Without our flaws, there wouldn't be any friendship lessons to learn. Without our Very flaws, true. there probably wouldn't be any friendships at all. And no reason to save Equestria. Now, what was Starlight's idea? Uh, I'm wondering. That just happened. Girls, I found two ponies who have something I think you should hear. Um, Aww. we just wanted to say thank you to all of you. Yeah, our friendship? Well, we were having trouble until we read your journal. It showed us that friends can go through all sorts of tough times and come through stronger than before. That's it's exactly what I was supposed to do. Really? Oh, I can't tell you how much it means to hear that. Thank you for telling us. We've had a tough couple of days, but knowing we've helped fillies like you... It makes everything we've been through worth it. Absolutely. Fads come and go. Friendship is forever. There are worse things than not 
being able to do anything without being told I'm awesome. And we can't change the way other ponies think about us, <laughs> but we can change how we let it affect ah, us. Ah, yes. Don't let Very it good. Us. True. <laughs> Go ahead. Laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it looks like Starlight made friends with them. I forgot what their names were, though. Dang it. We still have to deal with them, don't we? Yeah, more or less. See the friendship moment, Applejack. They can wait a little longer. <laughs> Although I'm wondering how you would deal with them. Why don't you use that freeze spell on them, Twilight, and leave them there? After they've been there for a week, maybe they'll get pick up what you're putting down. <laughs> Jeez, though, that was a wacky episode. lesson to tackle and I do like it but there were some things in there that seemed I don't know just off I'm not exactly sure why I mean I, I liked the song it just felt really out of place it was just kind of like what <laughs> um Everyone else's reactions, like being the general public, that, that seems believable. Because it's basically everyone out there in the public, someone, there, there's always bound to be someone, no matter how famous you get, or how well known you are, or how perfect you try to be, there's always going to be those nitpicky, critical, negative focused people who will just pick out every little last thing wrong with absolutely everything you do, no matter how insignificant, no matter how you meant it to be taken, and twist it into a downright despicable story. And then others who don't really know you will read that as a reliable source or whatever it happens to be printed in or published as and believe it. And then... Uh, just kind of spreads. That's just what happens. That's a problem with that much fame. Exactly. It's fame and misfortune. Now I get the title, but wow. I need to know what those two fillies were, though. What, what, what were their names again? Dang it. <laughs> well, we've seen Rarity crack before, but not like that. She was reaching Pinkie Pie levels of insanity. <laughs> that was pretty fun. Uh Poor Fluttershy, though. I, I get I get her strife with that, though. There are some people who just can't relate to Fluttershy and who just really didn't like episodes with her for a long time because it did feel like she was somewhat learning the same lesson over and over. But the truth is, she was trying her hardest. She was slowly developing confidence, self-worth, all the stuff needed to really shine, and that's difficult. And then... <laughs> Rainbow Dash had the opposite problem. That was pretty funny. <laughs> she had Scootaloo fangirls following her everywhere. <laughs> oh, poor Dash. Uh, we, we didn't really get to see a lot about... Other than Twilight being a famous princess and autographing it for that reason. <laughs> about what they thought of her actual entries. But it seemed like they were positive reactions if there were love heart signs. Poor Rarity, though, jeez. Yeah, I, I guess I can see how that would have backfired on her, but it's kind of out of the blue. <laughs> and Pinkie Pie, that makes sense for her. Everyone smiles when they're with her, but until they really know everything she's been through, and realize that not all of that was fun and funny and laughable and really, you know, I mean, take a look at episode 11, for example. Pinkie Pie was panicked trying to get the yaks to accept help. And then in a bunch of other episodes, she was all freaked out. It's just... <laughs> even... Not everything can be a game for Pinkie. <laughs> and then poor AJ. Especially after the last episode. I can understand why... Everyone loves wants to be a part of the Apple family. It makes sense. Even I would want to be a part of the Apple family. They're just that good, especially after the last episode. But those fan ponies were taking it way too far. 
to like stalker levels and beyond. In fact, uh, if Applejack had a shotgun, that might not have ended so well. No joke. <laughs> uh, actually, now that I think about it, someone's probably going to make fan art of that. <laughs> There's fan art of anything you can think of for this fandom. It's just ridiculous what, what happens. But... <laughs> Wow. Uh, I wouldn't say it's as cringeworthy as hard to say anything, but the whole idea, or the transitions in particular, that's what felt what I felt were weakest, or the transitions. Especially into that song. That was just, what? I mean, I love a song. The last episode's a perfect example of when to use a song and how to transition into it. This episode is the perfect example of how not to. I mean, it was a high-tension moment, and then out of nowhere, they pop it to song? I mean... I guess? I like singing, but when I'm under a lot of tension, I don't like singing, personally, unless I'm trying to get rid of some emotions and vent. Which I guess could... You could argue that's what they were doing, but it was such an upbeat, poppy song that I felt that wasn't the right n genre to put here. If someone remixes this as a heavy metal screamo rock, that's what should have been placed here in the episode. Because imagining all that frustration and agony and tension that the poor main six were having, that's what should have been placed here. If they would have <laughs> performed a nice heavy rock concert, and screamed their feelings out to that public, maybe they would have gotten the picture and snapped out of it. Just a suggestion, but... That... No. Just... No. I mean, I liked the... I, I even liked the pop song from All Bottled Up better in that respect, because the transition to that song felt more fluid than this one. Because at least they were joking about, oh yeah, they're probably gonna sing a song, and then of course they did. Here, it was just... Oh my gosh, they're all hating a certain they're all hating my friends and breaking a friendship apart. What are we gonna do? We'll sing a song! What? No. No one reaches that logical conclusion. Even as even as musicians, I'm just like Sorry. I'm venting a bit on that. Um Yeah. That was interesting. Very interesting. I'm gonna have to rewatch this one some more to really figure out what I think of this episode. The lesson was really good. Uh, how the public was reacting and all the crazy, ridiculous, over the top <laughs> analysis and critiques they were given. That's believable. That makes sense. But. Yeah. And those two Phillies' names. I liked them, but I couldn't remember their names. They only mentioned them, like, what? Once? I, I, I like it when the show introduces new characters, but it helps to, to at least mention their names more than once. Like, the last episode mentioned Grand Pair at least five times, and, and, and Burnt Oak at least three. So, and Bright Mac and Pear Butter and Slash Buttercup at least eight. I mean... It's really hard to know, remember those names off of one viewing, and I'm kind of doubting we're going to see them again, unless Starlight really did become really close friends with them, in which case, that would be interesting. Maybe she's going to start mentoring. Uh, as far, Starlight's role. Starlight's role in this episode. I really liked it. She had her perfect place here. Um, she, she knew what the main six needed to hear despite the chaos surrounding them. But you know what? Now that I think about it, it's kind of how real life is a lot of the time. Sometimes things can just be so chaotic and overwhelming and stressful and just out of, out of whack that you need a good friend like Starlight to come along and just bring in some other friends to really help you calm down, analyze stuff, figure out where to go, and just relax. And, and really 
make it through something, because, yeah. She, her role in this was really good. And all the main six reactions were very believable. It's just that one song that just didn't make sense to me. It, uh... I'm also not sure how they would resolve that. Like, is that mob still going to be there outside the castle in the beginning of the next episode? <laughs> because if that's the case, we're not going to have any more season. Like, the, the, that, the whole conflict for the season is going to be just that. I mean... <laughs> I imagine everyone there probably gave up at some point, but seriously? Wow. Just... Wow. Yeah, so while the last episode I would give a solid 300 million out of 10, this episode... <sighs> Maybe 9 out of 10 at best? It wasn't as cringeworthy as hard to say anything. But of course, the awkward moments of hard to say anything, those sort of things happen in real life. We have those terribly awkward moments. So I understand it, but. Yeah. Definitely had some competition there trying to stand up to the previous episode. Um. Who wrote it? I, I've heard M.A. Larson wrote it, which would explain some of the strange transitions and pacing issues, if you will. I know I say that, don't say that there's pacing issues very often, but this one just kind of felt like everything was go, 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 go. Like there was no time to breathe and really comprehend what was going on. <laughs> That's uh, great in certain respects, but with so much happening at once here, this was just kind of overwhelming. Maybe that was the point. I don't know. Uh, Alright, I've rambled on enough. Uh, I'll see you guys for episode 15, which has a very, very fascinating title. I'm not going to spoil it for anyone, but needless to say, when I saw it at, on a question daily, I was excited. It seems like it could be a very good adventure-based episode. And we haven't had nearly enough of those this season. I mean, Royal Problem was definitely a really, 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 really good one. But, of course, that was within the dream realm, so anything can happen there. But, yeah. Anyway. Um, I'd love to go record some more things tonight, but it's getting a little late, and I want to do some other stuff, so... I'll just see y'all later. Ciao!